the uh, the form part consists of the eye, the ear, the nose, the uh, physical part made out of the four uh, elements. So this is uh, Nama Rupa, and Buddha actually this was in uh, Nalakalapya Sutra. It was it was said that Nama Rupa. Uh, uh, or name and form and consciousness are like two stacks of bamboo uh, like uh, stacked against each other uh, or kept against each other so if you pull one the other one is going to automatically fall so they are interdependent the Nama and the uh, uh, Nama Rupa and the consciousness or in other words name and form and consciousness they are interdependent so I'll show you how it is interdependent Now here's again the uh, the name or the nama part, and here's the form part or the rupa. You can see the consciousness uh, is important for us to uh, from the rupa part to make the nama part. We need the consciousness. Without consciousness, uh, uh, these are single consciousness: eye, ear, nose, tongue consciousness, body consciousness. Uh, is sandwiched between the rupa and the nama part. And uh, we probably we all know about our five aggregates. Um, these are the five aggregates I'm going to show uh, in this uh, model here. The form, that's the first aggregate. We call it Rupa. Then the, we get our, that's number one. And number two is uh, Vedana or feelings. Number three is perceptions. And mental formations is number four. And number five is consciousness. So there are five aggregates: uh, rupa, vedana, sanya, uh, rupa, uh, rupa, vedana, sanya, chetana, uh, vijnana. Right? Rupa, vedana, sanya, sankara, sankara, vijnana. That's right. So also, I'm going to introduce what's called the uh, four nutrients. Now, nutrients. Uh, 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 we call it ahara in Pali. Nutriments are important for maintenance of beings and for those seeking new existence. Let's see, uh, uh, there are four types of nutriments uh, Buddha talk about. The first one is called the physical nutriment. Uh, it's called kabalinkara ahara. The second one is called contact nutriment or pasa ahara. We talk about that, uh, the contact. Uh, the third one is called nutriment of mental volition or manosanchetana ahara. The last one is called consciousness uh, nutriment or vijnana ahara. Now let's see how uh, this fits into our model here. Now you can see the uh, physical nutriment right here uh, uh, supplies our body, the, the eye, the ear to maintain our body pretty much nose, tongue and the whole body. Whereas you see this, uh, this is a contact nutriment right here, uh, which is the central part for the Nama to arise. And then also there is a mental nutriment here, this uh, mental formations and uh, consciousness. Now, this is for the existence of the being right now. Now, after rebirth, the mind consciousness become nutriment uh, to the next uh, level, uh, it becomes uh, the nutriment for the birth. Uh, so mind consciousness, or we call it Patisandhi Vinyane, or uh, uh, Chutisita, or Patisandhi it's a Vinyane, it's like a, a vinya, uh, this is a consciousness uh, uh, which uh, will uh, feed the next birth. So this is called the nutriment for, uh, 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 for those seeking new existence. So here's the whole deal here, the everything in one uh, one uh, slide. Um, so you can see uh, it's a bit complicated, but uh, the same thing I've shown you. I just built this up very slowly, so it's a little bit clear now. You can see the eye and the ear, the consciousness, the contact, the feeling. Uh, the, the contact will uh, give rise to feeling, uh, mental formations, perceptions, 
and uh, and then the thoughts are fed back into the mind, and the mind consciousness become the rebirth consciousness, and it will uh, pick up a new name and form, and becomes birth. Birth is uh, considered as uh, definition of birth is uh, appearance of aggregates or acquisition of sensors. So you see the acquisition of sensors here, back again, and the uh, birth of aggregates. So it keeps going on and on. Is it uh, too uh, complicated? No? You okay? Go ahead. What do you mean by like the mind consciousness becomes birth? Like what is that? Uh, the mind consciousness, now when we die, what happens is uh, uh, mind consciousness is a linking consciousness. It's called the rebirth consciousness. It has to pick a Nama Rupa. Buddha said it kind of descends into uh, kind of a, uh, uh, they say it's, it's uh, there are three conditions Buddha is talking about, but it descends into a, uh, where is the sperm coming into uh, the ov ovum, it's called a zygote, uh, like a first stage. The, the, unless there is a uh, consciousness descends there, it cannot survive. So consciousness will propagate your Nama Rupa to, so those things, as I said before, those things are interconnected. So without uh, Nama, Rupa, Nama Rupa cannot survive without consciousness, or consciousness cannot survive with Nama Rupa. So that's, that's the re rebirth consciousness or linking consciousness. Some people call it karma vijnana too. So this is the uh, the question you asked. So uh, after uh, death, the rebirth consciousness will find a nama rupa, a name on form, and be, uh, begins a new life, pretty much. So uh, birth is defined as appearance of five aggregates and acquisition of sense media by Buddha. So. So we are starting all over again. Now the six senses, the cycle keeps going on and on and on. So I'm going to uh, get to a different concept called cognitive series. So this, these are the thought uh, uh, feedback loops. Uh, so the first uh, loop is uh, shown in the purple arrow here. Uh, the yellow arrow, and the second loop is shown in the purple arrow, and the, uh, the feeling can influence perception, then you get another cycle, and then uh, mind can retrieve your memory, and it can lead to another cycle. So this can go on and on and on, as uh, long as you have attention on the object. For example, this is the eye here, so it can be any of the senses. So I'm just trying to show uh, uh, last how last birth and uh, rebirth can occur here. Uh, so this is the same uh, diagram. You can see the the mental proliferation. The, the 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 last slide I showed you about the thoughts keep coming back. Uh, and for example, say if a person dies. Uh, the thought process now, there is no more sensors here, but the thought process can still, the mind still can give one more last thought, and this thought can go through the same mechanism and uh, survive as the mind consciousness, and then and becomes uh, the uh, link to the name and form and becomes birth. So this is how I uh, was trying to show how rebirth happens. <coughs> So one last thought, all you need is this one last uh, uh, thought to develop. This is the, the last thought is shown in the yellow, uh, uh, yellow arrow here, the green, and your yeah, green arrow. And that will become your last thought, and that will uh, become the mind conscious. So, uh, Sankara, uh, the, when you, uh, you know the Patish Sampad, you, uh, uh, Sankara Pacha Vijnana, so Sankara Pacha Vijnana, Vijnana Pacha Nama Rupa, Nama Rupa Pacha, uh, Salayatam. Yeah, um, uh, when you feel it, then they push the system that it can, can develop. Yes. Uh, then, uh, the, um, is it stimulated by the... Uh, consciousness. Consciousness triggers, I, I feel, I mean, it's not said anywhere uh, as a Buddhist talking about consciousness has to be there. 
There are three um, uh, seniorous Buddha gifts.